Look, why you mad? Get to the bag. Long face, deck a case, get the cash. I've been living fast, still far from average. Real talk, all this shit is right outside. Hi, what's up, YouTube? It's Domo from Payday Pickups, and I'm back with another video. And today we're going to be filming what people are wearing in Manchester. I know Kofi does a series down south in London. We need to rep the Northerners. So today we're going out in Manchester. It's a Friday evening. Let's go film some fits. So I'm with my boy Hamza. Let's start it off. So can you explain your fit? So I've got the Nike Civilis. This is the SBs. These are the colour changing ones. Wear them out today because obviously it's sunny and they're going to change colour eventually. Um, I've got the Nike, I think they're track pants, but they also feel like cleats almost. Yeah, they are sick, yeah. man. Pick, pick them material? up on charity shop for $7.99, which steals. Is absolute steal. I've got a FUBU shirt on. Absolutely love FUBU. A lot of people say, you know, Ali G, all this and that. <laughs> Honestly, mate, FUBU is the way forward. Absolute quality. I've got a Mambo shirt on. I'm very proud of this shirt. 1996, it was made by a designer called Jimmy Slide. Show yeah. us the Batman. Oh. Look at the design, bro. Mambo. Even the buttons are wooden. Wooden what? buttons. Wooden buttons. The chain also very sustainable, made out of um, the top of cans. Let's have a find. closer look. Bro, that is so sick. Uh, but yeah, the cap also, it's a vintage. Don't know what club that is, <laughs> but it's really cool, man. And I'm rocking it backwards like this. Yes, Ali yeah, G. That's my fit. My guy. Guys. Sweet, let's get some more fits. I was going to wear a top underneath it, but it's a bit too warm today for that. Uh, bit of drip here, bit of drip there. Got the lovely fucking Jordan 270s two ball every day. And this was uh, from, what's the, I think they're called Gold Company. They're uh, a brand in Canada. Uh, yeah, come on, I'm loving the shades, come ASOS. on. I'm loving it. Yeah. ASOS. I don't know what they are. Are they like cargo? Cargo, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice. Yes, the Brazil dunks. Perfect for oh, the summer. I don't actually know. I feel like it was a dress in the tie. I feel like it was misguided. Yeah, misguided, misguided. Jersey I mean, sunglasses. <laughs> Top shot. It's a bit sure. fuckery today, to be honest. I got the double Adidas stripes, which obviously look right, but then I got the Nike socks. So I made a mistake oh, there. Nice. But so I got the little kilo sale I got it from, uh, like War Museum, something like that, but yeah. Then uh, Coca-Cola hat, Bionic 7, shout out to them. Fucking sick hat, quality stuff, man. I'm loving the colour coordination. <laughs> yeah, safe, bro, thank you. Thrift store, this one is the one in Piccadilly. It says Malka's Bit Mitzvah. It's my favourite shop in the whole world. Uh, pants are from Aflex, 20 quid. Converse, rainbow socks, yes. I think. Um, all these from Aflex. That one I Whoa, found. That one's sick, the horseshoe. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah. And then this has got me that, that's citrine. Manchester B. You love your love colours it. then? Love it. Uh, so this is my actual hair <laughs> that I've made into an earring, and my missus has one as well. Uh, I've got a Keith Heron t shirt on from Uniqlo, and these are from Uniqlo, I think, as well. Got some Clarks uh, Desert Tracks on. Love that. Um, so that's me. Simple, that's the simple. Simple and tonal. <laughs> so, do you love Keith Herring as an artist? Yeah, massively. I watched a documentary about it on BBC, and it was one of the best things I've ever seen. Absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah. Would you ever consider buying one of his vintage art pieces? For sure. For sure. But we haven't got that money just yet. But <laughs> yeah, I know. They're expensive. <laughs> Maybe one day. It's a uh, top man and. Um, is this one um, Urban Outfitters and then I've got my Nike. Yeah. I'm loving so, the colour the colour coordination. Oh thank you mate. Full <laughs> vintage vibes. Where are you actually from? Uh, I'm from Italy, I'm from Rome. <laughs> oh god. Oh, god. <laughs> That's the best moment yeah. to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So what would you say inspires your style? Um being queer. Being gay, I love a rainbow, I love the self-expression, I love the shaved head and the androgyny of it all. Um, and I just think it's interesting. Mm. And like it's fun to look at and it makes other people smile. So like it's quite fun. I, love that. I think this is an American apparel t-shirt actually. A little bit of a throwback for you. It is. Um, a vintage gilet. I think these are weekday. Okay. Um, and then just Air Max 
basically, actually, me and my best friend live together, and um, she always lends me a clothes. <laughs> so she actually got this skirt from a charity shop. We love charity shop shopping. Um, I think she got this from Misguided, maybe? Yeah. I'm not too sure. But literally, this is both my friends. I actually love that skirt. It's, it's cute, right? Yes. Charity shop. We go charity shopping all the time. I would honestly say, if you want good, like, good things, you always find little good things from charity shops. So, for me, definitely. So, do you feel like you don't need to spend a lot of money to be able to dress well? Absolutely, absolutely. Like, I think the most expensive thing I'm gonna like dog lines, but like all my clothes are usually from charity shops. I love that. <laughs> um, this I got for two pounds from the thrift shop around the corner. Um, got some dots on. Loving your tattoos. And my Oliver bonus net bag. Very nice. And then all just Affleck jewellery. Yeah. Some uh, t shirt I got from a vintage shop. It's got a Mustang on it, a little bit of red. Go with a Dickies t shirt. Right. Dickies shorts. Van socks to wrap with the old school vans. Rex from work. I'm a bartender, so they get covered in shit. Uh, this is Fifth Element. It's a Tiva. Uh, it's good shit. Good. Filling it up here right now. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's got a better style, Italians or the English. Mm. You can well, be honest. I like Manchester style. Yeah, more I love than, it. Yeah, yeah, than Italian well, style. Yes, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> So if you're ever in Manchester on weekends, they always do a pop-up near Ancoat Square, Millennial Vintage, they've got loads of vintage heat. Yeah. Look at it, everything. We've got track jackets, we've got shirts, we've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, denim, coats, pretty much everything. Look, why you mad? Get to the bag. Long face, deck a case, get the cash. I've been living fast, still far from average. Real talk, all this shit is right outside what I imagine. Young, black, and raspy. Cash me with a lab beyond. I can make the slap that make her body do magic. Won't stop till my bank account magnets. Looking like I'm still running paper routes backwards. Money bags, no advance, snap back like a rubber band. Pretty thing with a suntan, make it bounce back when she do the dance. Caught my song, we supposed to pick. See your things through a different lens. Living fast, only one chance. Never pants, how we do the plans. Right? I practice what I preach. They lie, I put around my way, then get lost to see. Not sure what you wanted, but I'm what you need. I know my So that was episode one of what people were wearing in Manchester. Huge shout out to Kofi for making this whole what people are wearing trend big on YouTube. It was honestly sick to meet so many creative people and showcase a variety of different fits. And if you're wondering why am I filming in this weird setup, I am basically in London at the YouTube event called Clash of Creators, where me and Matt on our second channel, 2 1, are going to be documenting the whole thing a big football match with some of the biggest YouTubers, such as like Chris MD, Road to Shore, Zach and Jay, Max Fosh, Kieran Collin all of the big UK YouTubers, and we're going to be documenting it the whole day. So go subscribe to the second YouTube channel, 2 1. And also, I'm planning to carry on this series in a load of different northern cities, such as like Liverpool, Leeds. Sunderland, Newcastle, Chester. So if you want to see it, another episode in more northern cities, let me know down below.